everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm staying at my sister's today, hence the different background. And yes, the new hairstyle. Here we have it. I absolutely love it. Um, I just hadn't had my hair cut for so long. It was getting so messy. So I did it yesterday. Okay, now I wanted to do a couple of things today. Um, I was asked to um, swatch some of these beach sticks, which I'm going to do. But it also gave me a bit of an idea because one of the beach sticks looks very like the new Eyes to Mesmerise rose gold, which is on its way to me. So I wanted to do something, try something out. And I've already tested it on my hand this morning and I think it's going to work quite well. So stay tuned. Right, first of all, I'm going to start this video by doing a swatch of the um, the beach sticks and then I'm going to do a kind of get ready with me using some of the beach sticks um, and the new um, Exaggerise palette, this one. Let me just show you to remind you and I'm going to use the beach stick in some of the ways that Charlotte tells you to use it and some of the ways that she doesn't. Okay, so stay tuned and let's get going, shall we? Okay, so first of all, I have three out of, I think there's five beach sticks. Now, one of these is no longer made. Well, I'll swatch at you anyway, but she no longer has it, which is Esvedra. Now, Esvedra is a an orangey um, beach stick, so I'm just going to swatch you that one first. As I said, this one isn't available anymore, um, so yeah, you can't buy it, I'm afraid. Okay, um, I haven't got all the beach sticks, although I've got my eye on one of them, I'll tell you which one in a minute. Now, Ibiza is a sort of contour shade really and actually it's very useful used as a contour so it's a good alternative to her new um, contour ones you can use this and it's just as easy if not easier to use than her contour ones and let me just swatch you Ibiza okay it blends out really beautifully and I'm going to show you that I'm actually going to contour my face using it. Um, it's really easy to blend out. Can you see that? Okay. So that is Abitha. And then the other one I have is Moon Beach. And Moon Beach is the one I shall be using in an unusual way. I've actually used it like this before in a very early video, which probably none of you have seen. But this is Moon Beach. Beautiful shade. And actually, it looks almost rose gold. Can you see that? Okay, better light than my sister's. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Really beautiful on the cheeks. Really good for fair, medium, dark skin tones. I think it shows up beautifully, as does Ibiza. Now, the one that I wanted to get, so this one is no longer made. But there is another one called Las Salinas, which is a beautiful pink. Sort of, um, yeah, just a really lovely pink. And I quite like the look of that. Um, now, the one Charlotte suggests as an alternative to Esvedra, which is no longer made, is Formentera. They're not really the same. It's just the closest one in kind of darkness. So Formentera is a kind of... It's, mm, I don't, I can't think of the, the, I, I'm going to look it up and I will get back on to here and tell you what it is. But it's, yeah, I can't really describe it. I'm going to post some pictures in between here uh, with a description. That's what I shall do of the two that I don't have.
So, um, one other thing I wanted to say that yesterday I went out and I'd done my makeup beautifully, you know, beautifully for me. And um, I got out and obviously my face is more tanned than my chest because I often cover this up anyway. Okay, but I put bronzer on and I went out and I realised when I got in the car that my bronzer and foundation stopped there and then I was pale. So just before I got to the hairdressers, I popped in to Superdrug and I went straight to the e.l.f. counter because e.l.f. are really good value. You know, I didn't want to spend a fortune because it was just, I've got bronzers at home galore. But e.l.f. are really good brand and they're really cheap and affordable. And I bought this and it cost me five pounds. And it's really, really good quality. So let me just show you this one. I just wanted to show you. So there's a bronze and blush. So, you know, Charlotte Tilbury does a bronze and blush. And hers are, I can't remember now, but I think they're about £49. This was £5. Um, now this one is in the shade Fiji. Um, then it's a matte bronzer, which is very good because you don't get too much sparkle. And you can always add, I think with, with bronzer, you can always add... Um, shimmer later with things like highlighter so it's always good to have a matte bronzer because you can use it as a contour as well and then it's got this beautiful blush which is there now this one is one of the darker ones but they did have a shade for fairer skin as well and that blusher looked lovely the bronzer looked lovely didn't look orange um, really good quality five pound you can't really moan, can you? So, um, I just got it because I quickly wanted to quickly bronze up the rest of me to match um, my body. And I wanted to also get some more of the under eye setting powder. So, I'm going to be right back because I've noticed I didn't do a very good job last night of getting rid of my mascara under my eyes. Um, and I will see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back. Now I've put on my Helio Care, and I remembered the other day, having looking back at my um, looked back at my video, that I've got to tell you what Helio Care is. Helio Care is an SPF, so it's SPF of 50. That's why I said it's really important for anti-aging that you wear it every day, and it adapts to your skin tone. Got lots of antioxidants in it, um, but I always put in this weather, particularly as the sun is now out you will see that you're already seeing a bit more of my hyperpigmentation. Yeah, that is hyperpigmentation. And that's even with SPF of 50. So it's to protect my skin. Very important for anti-aging that you use sunscreen. Um, and the Heliocare has got UVA and UVB protection in it. I have used others. You can get some really good ones. There's one at the body shop that is more like a lotion. Um, and there is another one that I've bought, um, and I've forgotten the name of it, um, Ultra Sun, which has got anti-pigmentation, but that's actually more expensive than Heliocare. What I like about Heliocare is that it doesn't give you, with sunscreens, sometimes you put them on and they make you look really white and pale, whereas Heliocare actually adapts to your skin tone so you don't look washed out. So um, anyway, I'll put the details of that underneath. And I'm just going in now with Charlotte's Magic Cream. Now I'm at my sister's at the moment, so I basically bought all my little travel sizes, which whenever I get samples uh, sent to me, I put them all together in a little area and so that when I'm away, I can take the little samples with me. Um, so, I may have actually used Unisex Healthy Glow for this today, but I haven't got it with me. So, um, I've got my little tester pot of foundation, and um, I'm also going to use this, which is, I actually prefer this to Wonder Glow, because I think it's just it just shows up better on me. This is Max Strobe Cream. Um, it's their original one but they also do them in different kind of 
colours. It's when I say colours, it's kind of they tend to glow a different colour. So the original one glows a little bit pink, but you can get one that's called gold light, pink light, red light, and something else which I can't remember. But this is the original one, which um yeah, it shows apparently sort of got slight pink undertone to it. So I'm just going to rub that in and that will give me a bit more of a glow because the foundation from MAC that I'm putting on is quite full coverage. Um, so this will give me a bit of a glow underneath. And I actually used to use this a lot. It's one of those things that was my hero products and then you kind of forget about it because other things take over. And I think for me it was unisex healthy glow. Um, but I do like that and it does actually give me a glow that I can see. Uh, sorry Charlotte. Okay, this is going to be a long video because I'm jabbering away. But I might speed up when I'm doing certain mundane things like putting my mascara on. Okay, so I'm now going to put on my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof foundation and I don't want to put it on too thickly today because there really is no need what you can do which I could have done is mix it with a little bit of a drop of oil which kind of thins it out so if you're away on holiday and you've got a kind of high coverage foundation you can always either mix it with some oil or mix it with your um, moisturizer and it will thin it out a little bit for you. So I'm just going to buff that into my skin. I might want to dab a little bit more underneath where that hyperpigmentation is. This bit really annoys me when in the summer because it just looks like I've been slapped in the cheeks. It always happens, it doesn't matter what I put on it in terms of sunblock. It just happens. And really there's not much more you can get other than SPF 50. And I've even got spray that I top it up throughout the day. So not a lot more you can do. Saw a little tip from Pixie Woo. She'd been to find out about her, her um, under eye darkness. And the woman pulled it and said... If it moves, it's actually um, sun damage um, rather than the veins underneath. And she needs to make sure she gets her SPF under her eyes, which is really interesting because mine does that. So I've been trying to make sure I put my SPF under my eyes. OK, I'm just going to put a little bit more around my cheeks. And I'm going to shut up while I'm doing it because then I can forward through some of this. Okay, now, um, time for a little bit of bye-bye, under eye, where are you? Here you are. By the way, I got this from QVC, so I think they do it in QVC US as well. And it came as a set on easy payments, and it came with a brush, and the brush is brilliant, because it's got one side that you kind of smooth it on with, which is this flat brush, and then the other side... Oops, the lid come off though. The other side with this buffing brush which blends it in really well. And when you come to put the top on, you do that, wind up the lid and then put the top on. Okay, so um, I keep it in the tube because the, the lids tend to be, one you've got to remember which lid is for which side because one only fits properly on one side. But secondly, um, they do tend to come off the lid so I've kept it in the tube that it came in so that the lids don't, I don't lose the lids. Right, so a little bit of bye bye under eye. Let me know, by the way, if you really dislike my long videos because I'm kind of assuming I need to make them shorter. Um, but sometimes I think with people that are following me regularly, you might quite like a longer video of me jabbering away 
within reason. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put this bye bye under eye on. Now I'm using the flat side of the brush. Interestingly, this is called side two, and I don't know why, because I like to spread it on with this side of the brush. And then buff it out with the other side. So I'll show you what I mean. Like so. Very pigmented. Tiny amount. Tiny, tiny amount. Okay. Then with the brush, and then blend it out. I don't know why you would use it the other way around. It just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. So why this side is called, it is called, well maybe it was, yeah, number, this is called number one, buffing, and the other one is called smoothing. Anyway, I like to be a rebel, and this side, this makes more sense to me, doing it this way around. So I've still got a tiny bit on my hand, it literally is a minuscule, I mean that's just because it's spread. Can you see that tiny little blob there? It's so insanely pigmented, you really do not need a lot. If you put too much on, it's going to look really cakey. So do make sure that you spread it and buff it. Okay, so I'm just going to dab that lightly under my eyes. I'm just using waterproof powder foundation, Pro Longwear from MAC. Again, I've just found this combination, keeps it all on really well. And then I'm just going to brush my nose, my chin, around this area, anywhere that gets a little bit oily and leave the rest of it alone especially as you get older if you've got dry skin just don't powder unless my nose gets oily and my chin gets oily and I've got a few open pores around here but I'm going to leave all of that alone because the more powder you put on the more aging it looks okay so now I'm going to show you how I use the beach sticks. Now, these beach sticks can be used in a variety of ways. So you basically, well, she says you can use them on your cheeks and on your lips. I've actually used these on my eyes and I'm going to use Moon Beach today on my eyes um, because I have found that this makes a reasonably good primer because it's a cream and it helps your eyeshadow stick and I suddenly thought this is going to complement. It's not quite as good as the MAC paint pots. Um, in turn, it's not that thick, but this is going to complement the um, oh, what are they called? Exaggerized palette. Now I've done this once before. If you look back when I did a review on the instant look in a palette beauty glow. Um, because I just wanted to accentuate the rose gold in that palette and I used this as a primer and it worked and I, I've tried this out on my hand and it appears to work so what that will do is it will just give your eyeshadow something to stick to so here is Exaggerize okay now I've seen the latest Charlotte Tilbury tutorial she put it on slightly differently and I liked what she did so I'm going to follow that and show you what she did but I will also link her video because obviously she's the expert not me okay so first of all I'm going to go in with the prime shade which is here and I'm going to put that all well a little bit lightly over here just sort of dab that around just to set it a little bit
and what she did as well was she used this in the inner corner which it is perfect for and she used it on her brows now if you're going to use it on your brows rather than just stroking it up there with a fluffy brush just press it in or use a sort of smaller more compact brush because that will give you the definition to your brows okay now what she did then let me just make sure that i've got this covered i'm sort of patting it on because the moon stick is is a little bit more creamy than a normal primer so i don't want to move that shadow that primer i should say Good morning, Jack. Okay, can you see that and how the moon beach has already given it a gold, rose gold look to it? And all I've done is put this shadow on yet. I haven't even got to this. So, um, yeah, I knew it would work. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm using the enlarged shade. And what she did is she put this in the crease. And she put a little bit underneath. Oh, silly me. I've gone and dipped it into the wrong eyeshadow. Ah, oh, start again. Uh oh. Don't worry, I'm going to be going in with that shade anyway in the corner in a minute. So that is solvable. Let's keep going because I think it's good to show how you can recover mistakes. I knew the minute I put that on, it was too dark to be the enlarged shade. Don't worry, that is going to be put right in a second. Because I'm actually going to be doing that anyway on the other eye just in a different order. Now I'm going to take my smudge brush and um, put that in large shade underneath. And a little bit over the top there, just to line the eyes. Okay, and now we're going to go in with the one that I just put on by mistake, which is the Define shade. And I'm going to put that in the corner anyway. So I thankfully realised my mistake before I took that one up too far. And a little bit of that underneath. I'm not taking that all the way along. Because you want the eyes to look big. So if it goes all the way in, then your eyes are going to look closer together. It depends on your eye shape. You know, if your eyes look very uh, far apart, then yeah, take it all the way in. If your eyes look really close together, then keep that right to the corner. This is going to be another Gone With The Wind epic, I think. Right, some Barbarella Brown. So I'm just going to go in with this. Not the enlarged, sorry, the defined shade. I will put the beach sticks on next. So, next of all, we have a beaker. So, basically, 
you do this Okay, looks very scary, but don't worry, it blends really well. Okay, and then you kind of need to get this at the side. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Did you have a nice sleep in? Yeah. Good. I'm just doing my video. Now I'll show you how easily these blend out. Now sweep up, don't do what I just did, I nearly forgot. Sweep up, do not sweep down because that will drag your face down. You don't want to do that, you want to give yourself a bit of a lift. Now do you see how scary that looked to put on but how easily it blended out. Hi. Say hello to my viewers, oh look he's showing you <laughs> My sister's cat. He's the only one that can get away with lifting her up. Lifting him, him up, sorry. Lifting him up. Anyone else it's gets like scratched. I, it's like I have a cat bond. Yeah, you're, well, you're a cat whisperer, I think. But well, lucky he just wants to go outside right now, so I'll open the door. I think also cats instinctively know. Like, if you're an adult, they're going to scratch you, but they know that he's not meaning any harm. So... He kind of goes all floppy and lets him lift him up. It's really weird. Okay, so can you see how easily that blends out? Actually blends it easier than her ones. And I must remember to do my... to do my nose. I'm just going to do this actually with my fingers, I think. Now, don't worry, by the time I've highlighted that, I won't look all red-nosed. All right, and then I'm going to put... I don't think I'm going to put Esvedra, because one, you can't buy it anyway, and secondly, it's quite a different tone to the rest of my look, and I think it might just ruin it. So what I'm going to do is put Moon, Moon Beach on for you and show you. This is kind of a highlighter come... Blush. If you're fair, this will work as a blush. If you're darker like me, okay. If you're if you're more medium sto toned skin, it will sort of be a highlighter come blush. Um, but it does look beautiful when you blend it in. I, obviously, if you're fair, I don't put as much as I just did. This one, I think Charlotte quotes a lot as being on the red carpet. Um, I'm trying, I'm sort of pushing it up in very light sweeps so that it doesn't disturb the makeup, the foundation underneath as much. I'll finish this look up and I with the mascara, do my brows, do my lips and I will be, actually, I'll come back to do my lips because I'm going to show you what Charlotte recommends for this Eyes to Mesmerise wedding. It was a wedding look that she did. I'll come back for the lips, so I'll see you in a minute. Hi guys, I'm back. I have put a bit of Sex on Fire blusher on because it was quite subtle on me, but you can still see the moon beach above it. And I put my mascara on and I filled in my brows. So I just wanted to finish off because this is what um, Charlotte suggested in her recent video. This is Love Trap Lip Liner. Now you can of course use the, the um, beach sticks on your lips. and But I don't want to do that today. Let me just show you what me, Moon Beach would look like. You see, it's, it's a little bit pale for me. Let's just put this on. So this is Love Trap. And then she uses Very Victoria, which is my perfect nude. So let's put that on next.
Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed today's look. I will try and do a video on Tuesday to show you the new eyes to mesmerise. So I'll see you soon. Take care and have a great bank holiday weekend. Bye-bye.